kids good evening everyone so here we are again with a new chapter of science that is bones and muscle this is your fifth chapter and today we will study about the bones and muscles of our body okay so let us see the contents of this chapter what are the different contents in this chapter okay so kids in this chapter we will study about the skeleton okay what is skeleton then about bones muscles exercise and healthy food and posture these are the contents of this chapter i repeat the contents again skeleton bones muscles exercise and healthy food and then posture okay so students let us begin first with our body let us know something about our body okay so students let us begin with about body what it is written in the slide see our body is made up of bones and muscles what are our body made up of what do we have in our body if you if you touch your body you can feel some hard part inside yes or no if you will touch your fingers your neck your leg your arms elbow you will feel some hard part inside it or not what are those those are the bones okay and the soft and if you if you feel your hand it is soft right you feel it soft so what it is it is actually the muscles okay our body is made up of bones and muscles understood then some parts of our body are soft while others are hard some parts of our body are soft yes or no like the stomach it is soft ears nose these are the soft part of our body yes and some parts are hard like the elbow the knees these are the hard the head these are the hard part of our body why it is hard because it is made up of bones okay then muscles are the soft part of our body and bones are the hard part of our body and what are the soft part of our body those are the muscles muscles are said to be the soft part of our body and bones bones are the hard part of our body understood and our body is made up of bones and muscles see students there are 300 bones in our body when we are an infant infant means when we are small baby in babies in small babies there are all together 300 bones in small babies how many bones are there in small babies there are 300 bones in small babies but as we grow as we grow up and we become an adult the bones it reduce okay and it it is in the number 206 there is 206 bones in an adult body understood there are 206 bones in an adult body but when we are infant but a baby they has 306 bones understood and students there are more than 600 muscles in our body you know there are more than 600 muscles in our body every part of our body has got different muscles and there are more than 600 muscles in our body understood so what is our body made up of our body is made up of bones and muscles some part of our body is soft while some are hard muscles are said to be the soft part of the body and bones are the hard part of our body okay and students the small babies they have 300 bones in their bodies but as the baby grow as the baby grow old and they grow up the bones it gets 
reduced and it forms 206 bones. So, an adult human body, it has 206 bones altogether. Understood? Then, there are also more than 600 muscles in our body. Okay? So now students let us study about the skeleton. Now what is skeleton? See there is a picture of a skeleton in the slide. Can you see what is skeleton? Skeleton is actually the bone structure of our body. Can you see the skull, the arms, the legs, the chest, it has all bones. Yes or no? The chest, the, the chest part, the part which you can see here. That bone is called as rib cage. Okay. Where inside there is lungs and heart. Inside the rib cage bone, the lungs and heart is situated there. Okay. So this is the skeletal. This is the skeletal structure of your body. Now what is skeletal? Skeleton. What do you mean by skeleton? Our body has a framework of bones called skeleton. Framework means actually the structure which gives shape to our body. That is the framework. Okay, the, the shape of the face that you have, the shape of the body that you have, it is all made by the skeleton, by the bones. The bones are joined together to form a skeleton and this skeleton gives the shape of our body. The shape of the face that you have is actually the shape of the bones inside your body. Understood? The shape of the body that you have is actually the shape of the structure of the skeleton inside your body. And skeleton is made up of bones. When, bone, when the bones are joined together, it forms a skeleton. Understood? We, different human beings have different body structure. Yes or no? So, every human being has got different body structure based on the structure of the skeleton. Okay? And skeleton is known as the framework of bones. It is the framework of bones which gives the shape of the body. See, it is written there. Skeleton gives shape and support to our body. What does it give? It gives shape and and support to our body, support to sit, support to stand, support to work. Okay, if there is no skeleton in, in our body, if there is no bones in our body, can we sit properly? No. Will we, will we be able to stand or walk without bones or skeleton? We will not be able to even stand properly without skeleton if there is no skeleton or bones in our body. Understood? So that is why the skeleton is called as the framework of bones that gives us, that gives our body shape and support. Understood? Without, without the skeleton, we would not be able to stand straight. Just now I told you, without skeleton, we will not be able to stand straight. Okay? Then skeleton protects the soft inner part of our body. The soft inner part like the heart, the lungs, the kidneys that we have inside our body, the stomach, the intestine, all the soft part that is inside our body. This skeleton, that means the bones, it protects the body. The soft part, the soft inner part of the body is protected by the skeleton. Understood? So what is skeleton? It is actually the framework of the bones that gives the shape to our body and also it supports us to stand, to sit, to walk. Okay, without skeleton, we would not be able to even walk properly or stand properly. Our body will not be straight. There is bones in our body. That is why we can sit in any posture, in any, any form we want to. Yes or no? Without skeleton, we would not be able to even stand straight. Okay. And the skeleton protects the soft inner part of the body. It protects the soft inner part like the heart, the lungs, the stomach, intestine, the kidneys, all the soft part that is inside our 
body those are protected by the skeleton that means the bones understood you can see the picture and you can make out what is skeleton see the bones are joined together to give a framework of our body to give the shape to our body yes or no there is skeleton that is why we have the shape of our body we have the shape of our face every person has got different shape of their body different face structure yes or no everybody's face are different why is it so because of the skeleton understood and now students let us study about the bones now what are bones more than 200 bones form the human skeleton i already told you in infant that means in small child there are 300 bones yes or no and in human body there are 206 bone in an adult human body there are 206 bones and more than 200 bones form the human skeleton how many bones form the human skeleton more than 206 bones that is why it is said that an adult human have 206 bones in, a, in the body okay then bones are hard and stiff part of our body what are the what are bones bones are the hard and stiff part of our body if you can feel if if you will touch your body you can feel there are bones everywhere yes or no the, the hard part of the body those are what actually those are the bones only yes if you touch your knees you can feel the bones if you if you touch your finger you can feel the bone if you touch your head you can feel the bones inside yes or no even the nose have bones the ears have the soft bones that is why you have the structure of the ears but if there were no no bones in the ear that there will be no structure of the body okay the bones gives a structure to the body and more than 200 bones form the human skeleton all right then bones are the stiff and hard part of our body i already told you the place where two or more bones join together is called a joint okay the bo the bones they join they join together yes or no to form skeleton they join together to form skeleton like the the bones of this this arms is joined with the wrist yes or no then this this portion of the bone is bone is joined with the shoulder yes or no then in your in your knees also the bones are joined are are joined yes or no from the thigh to the knee and from knee to the toes all the bones are joined to each other Yes or no? And where the bones are joined to each other, those parts are called as the joint. These are the joint part of the body. These, the elbow, the wrist. These are the joint. Where the, bone, where the bones are joined together to form skeleton, they, it is called as a joint. The place where two or more bone, bones joined together is called a joint understood then we can bend our body around a joint we can bend our body yes or no we can bend our neck up down we can bend our neck we can bend our wrist like downward straight yes or no we can bend our hand elbow with the with the joint of this elbow we can bend our hand straight and stiff we can do anything we can move our body parts and how can we move our body parts because these bones are joined okay and where and where these bones are joined those part those portion is called as the joint okay we can bend our body around a joint around this joint part we can bend our body we cannot bend this portion of the body can we bend this portion of the body no we cannot bend because this is not the joint this elbow is the joint that is why we can make our hand straight and we can also bend it yes or no so this is the joint portion this is the joint part of our body where the where we can move our body parts 
Understood? Then some of the joints are neck joint. This is the neck joint by which you can shift your neck to left and to right. Okay? Then wrist joint. This wrist is the joint by which you can move your fist. Yes or no? Then elbow joint. This is the elbow joint by which you can move your hands. Then there is knee joint by which you can move your leg. Yes or no? Try to move your leg. See? You can move your leg. And when you move your leg, the, bone, the bones, they move from one place. The, the bones of your knees, it moves. Yes or no? So those are the joint of the bones in your body. Understood? So our body is made up of more than 200 bones. Then bones are the hard and stiff part of our body. Okay? And the place where two or more bones, sorry, more bones join together is called a joint. And we can bend our body around a joint. And some of the joint of our body are the neck joint, wrist joint, elbow joint and more joints are there. Okay? Students, can you see the picture of this skeleton? Those are the different joints of the body. From, from the neck you can see, see, the neck joint, it is actually called as pivot joint. P-I-V-O-T, pivot, J-O-I-N-T, pivot joint. Okay, that means it can move. Okay, it can move round. Then the elbow joint, it is actually called as the hinge joint. H-I-N-G-E Hinge J-O-I-N-T Hinge joint Okay The finger bones that can bend These are the finger bones Those are actually called as the Saddle joint S-A-D-D-L-E Saddle J-O-I-N-T Saddle joint Okay And the wrist The wrist joint That is called as the Condyloid joint Okay, C-O-N-D-Y-L-O-I-D, -O -O condyloid joint. Okay, and the, and the bones, the joint between the hip. Okay, the hip portion, that is actually called as the ball and socket joint. That is called, that is known as the ball and socket joint. Okay, and the joint of your feet, the, the joint in your feet. That is the plane joint, P-L-A-N-E, plane joint. And the joint in your hip, that is called as the ball and socket joint, B-A-L-L, -L, ball, S-O-C-E, sorry, S-O-C-K-E-T, socket joint. These are the different joints of our body where two or more bones meet together to give the movement in our body. Okay, these are the different portion of the body where two or more bones they join together to give the movement in our body. Understood? So now students, let us study about muscle. What is muscle? Muscles are the soft part of our body. What is muscle? Muscles are the soft part of our body. Students, have you ever seen a bodybuilder? A person with body, with big, big bicep. Have you seen? Their bodies are so huge with big, big biceps. Yes or no? What are those actually? Those are the muscles. Can you see the picture? The red, red part. These are the different muscles in our body. In different parts, there are different muscles. In the cheeks, you have muscles. Neck, you have muscles. Hands chest, back, stomach, then thighs, then legs, feet, everywhere. In the fingers you have muscles. Yes or no? The biceps, these are, these are also the muscles. You have seen bodybuilder building muscles? Yes or no? We used to say now we will build muscles, we will grow strong. So what are these muscles? These are the soft part of our body okay inside the muscles lies the bones first there is muscles then inside the muscles there is bones this muscles actually 
covers the bones and helps to move our bones. What does muscles do? Muscles cover the bones. Okay? And it also helps to move our bones. These muscles, these bones are moved by the help of the muscle. You can see the picture and you can make out what are muscles actually. Okay? There are different types of muscles in our body and students you know as there are different types of bones there are different type of muscles in our body. Okay. A human body has more than 600 muscles. How many muscles are there in a human body? More than 600. Okay. So muscles are the soft part of our body and muscles cover the bones and it helps the bones to move okay and there are different types of muscles in our body as we have different type of bones we also have different type of muscles and a human body has more than 600 muscles how many muscles 600 more than 600 muscles are present in a human body understood So students, see the different types of muscles. What are the different types of muscles in our body? Okay. First one is cardiac muscles. There are three types of muscles. The first one is cardiac muscles. C-A-R-D-I-A-C. Cardiac muscle. Then number two, it is skeletal muscle. S-K-E-L-E-T-A-L. -E skeletal muscle. Then the three, the third one is smooth muscle. S M O T H. Smooth M U S C L E muscle. Three types of muscle: cardiac muscle, skeletal muscle, and smooth muscle. Now, what is cardiac muscle? Cardiac means the muscles that our heart has. Our heart is a muscle actually. Yes or no? Can you see the picture of, that is the picture of heart, student. Can you see the, pic, the first picture, cardiac muscle, that is a heart. Okay. The first one is cardiac muscles, the heart, our heart has cardiac muscle. Understood. Then, second one is skeletal muscle. Skeletal muscle means the elbow, the knees. The muscles which these elbow and knees has, those are called as skeletal muscles. Okay. And what are smooth muscles? Smooth muscles are the inner organ of our body like the stomach, the intestine, the pancreas, the liver. Not pancreas actually, the liver, stomach, small intestine, large intestine. These are what? These are muscles only. Understood? So, there are three types of muscles. Cardiac muscle, skeletal muscle and smooth muscle. Okay? You can see the picture and you can make out what is cardiac, what is skeletal and what is smooth muscle. Okay? You will learn about this in your higher classes. Okay? And now students, let us study about exercise and healthy food. You know what is exercise? Yes? Do you do exercise at home? So what is exercise? We exercise so that our body stays fit and healthy. Yes or no? And healthy food? Why do we eat healthy food? So that we stay healthy. We do not fall sick often. Yes or no? That is why we eat healthy food. And why do we need exercise and why exercise and healthy food is necessary for our body? Because see, the bones and muscles of our body work together to help us move, walk and play. Yes or no? Our bones and muscles of our body, they work together. The muscles and bones of our body, they work together which help us to move. With the help of the bones and muscles, we can move, we can walk, 
we can do any kind of work then we can also play with the help of the muscles and bones if there will be no bones in our body no muscles and no bones how will we stand how will we run we cannot play yes or no so bones and muscles play important part in our body okay then strong bones and muscles is needed to do various activities we need strong bones and strong muscles to do various activities when you do swimming when you play tennis when you play badminton is or no when you run any type of activity any type of physical activity when you do what do you need the strength in your body and from where do you get the strength in your body if you have strong bones and muscles then only you will get the strength okay the energy the power to do different activities understood and in order to keep our bones and muscles healthy we should we must eat healthy food yes or no we must eat healthy and exercise in order to keep our bones and muscles strong exercise and healthy food is very important for our body if you exercise your body your muscles remain fit your bones and muscles remain fit and when you eat healthy the bones and muscles get the nutrition to remain healthy and fit to remain strong and healthy when we eat healthy food our bones and muscles it gets the nutrition to remain strong and healthy and exercise keeps our bones and muscles fit and strong if we if we exercise every day our body remains fit and strong by which we can do various kind of activities okay then strong bones and muscles allow us to walk and play without feeling tired strong bones and muscles it help us to work it allow us to work to do different types of work and it to do different type of work and it also allow us to play without feeling tired okay without feeling tired this bones and muscles it allow us to work and play and most importantly eating healthy food and exercising is not only important for the bones and muscles enough sleep is also very necessary to maintain a healthy body and a healthy body is all always maintained when you have a sufficient amount of rest also along with work and play your body needs rest our bones and muscles it also needs rest See students, for example, I'll say, if you keep on exercising for the whole day, will you be able to? Will your body be able to hold that? No, we will not be able to even sit or stand. If if we keep on working and playing whole day, we will feel tired. Yes or no? And if we feel tired, our muscles and bones will not work. In order to keep it healthy and strong we also need rest and sleeping is the best way of resting the body to keep to give the to give rest to our body sleeping is very important we need adequate amount of sleep okay so students these are some pictures of healthy eating and exercise so students you know you must always start your day with a healthy breakfast always eat healthy breakfast so that your body will get that energy to work to do your work whole day okay healthy food is very necessary and exercise exercising is also very necessary to keep our body fit and strong along with healthy food you need you you need to exercise and along with healthy food and exercise you must also keep your give your body rest by sleeping okay so now students let us study about the posture okay now what do you mean by posture p o s t u r e posture what do you mean by posture it means the position of our body 
the position of our body when we stand sit or walk is called posture it is actually the position of our body while sitting while standing while walking we have a position or not you can see the picture you can make out okay posture is the position of the body when we sit when we stand when we walk when we bend these are actually the these are known as the posture of our body we should always keep a straight and upright posture students we must always keep a straight and upright that means we must not always keep our body leaning and bending down that is not a good posture of our body why because you know if you keep such posture your body will bend your body will start bending automatically understood that is not a good posture of the body your body must always be straight you have a backbone to stand straight and still you must always have a good posture while sitting while standing while walking you must never bend down and just lean on lean down to you must not bend or lean down your body you must always keep a good posture okay and a good posture help us to stay healthy it helps us to stay healthy and it keeps our body in proper shape a good posture of our body keeps our body in proper shape understood so what is what is posture it is actually the position of our body when we sit when we stand while walking while bending any walk when we do the shape of the body the position of the body it is called as posture okay and we should always keep our body straight and upright and a good and a good posture helps our body to stay healthy and it also keeps our body in proper shape understood what is posture so kids let us revise once again from the beginning what did we study first we studied about our body yes or no our body is made up of bones and muscles some part of our body are soft while some part are hard the soft part of our body are called as muscles and the hard part is called as bones okay and there are more there are 300 bones in an infant that means a small child has got 300 bones and as the small child grow up as it grow into an adult the bones it reduced and it forms 206 bones that means an adult an adult human body it has 206 bones okay and students there are more than 600 muscles in our body and what is skeleton skeleton is the framework of our bones our bones it forms a framework which is called as skeleton which gives the shape and support to our body the skeleton gives shape and support to our body okay and skeleton also protects the soft inner parts of our body understood and students how many bones are there more than 200 bones forms a human body that means there are 206 bones in a adult human body and the bones are the hard and stiff part of the body understood and students the place where two or more bones are joined that part is called as the joint okay with the help of this joint we can bend our body and there are different joints in our body those are the neck joint wrist joint elbow joint etc okay the neck joint is also called as pivot joint the finger joint is also is known as the saddle joint okay the elbow joint is called as the hinge joint then the wrist joint is called as the condyloid joint okay then the feet joint is called as the plane joint and the joint between your hip in your hip it is called as the ball and socket joint okay then what are muscles muscles are the soft part of our body which covers the bones and helps our body to move not body actually it helps the bones to move and there are different types of muscles in our 
body and a human body has got 600 more than 600 muscles in the body there are three types of different muscles in our body those are the cardiac muscles the skeletal muscles and the smooth muscles okay then those were the those were about the bones and muscles now to keep our bones and muscles strong and healthy we must follow some healthy diet we must eat healthy food and follow some exercises also okay our body needs exercise and we must eat healthy food in order to keep our bones and muscles strong and healthy understood and along with that a good posture of the body is also needed posture means the position of the body while we stand while we sit while we walk while we bend down the position of the body is called as the posture and this posture helps our body to stay healthy and keeps our body in a proper shape a good posture of the body keeps our body in the posture in the proper shape if there is no good posture of the body your body will never have a proper shape okay your shoulder might be leaning down your neck might be leaning down as you grow old if there is no proper posture of your body there will be no proper shape of the body understood so this was all about bones and muscles now students let us study some hard words that is related with the chapter so that it will be easy for you to study the chapter okay so now students let us study some hard words that is related with the chapter okay it is there in your book if you will read the chapter you will find these hard words okay i will read it out so it will be easier for you to read the chapter the first word is muscle m u s c l e s muscle okay then skeleton s k e l e t o n skeleton then straight s t r a i g h t straight okay then activity a c t i v i t i e s activities okay then healthy h e a l t h y healthy then body b o d y body then it is swimming s w i m m i n g swimming then tennis t e double n i s tennis then it is elbow e l b o w elbow then framework f r a m e w o r k framework then joint j o i n t joint then exercise e x e r c i s e exercise then strong s t r o n g strong then it is bones b o n e s bones then various v a r i o u s various the meaning of various means of different kinds okay then football f o o t b a w l -L, football then it is wrist r i s t wrist and the last one is knee k n w -E, e knee okay so these are some hard words that is related with the chapter okay so students that's all for this chapter thank you for watching the videos and please study well at home okay in the next class i will give i will start with the next chapter